The Kirkland Art Center in Clinton presents Local Arts. Did you Gail Strout has been quilting for over 30 years, and just as she was probably one of those children who liked to color outside the lines, she has always pushed the boundaries of quilting. Her art quilts explore color and shape and showcase her lifelong love of fabric. I was living in Connecticut, I was in college, I had a friend who was quilting. So you just find cloth I always sewed. I think my generation did sew. And so I'd cut out pieces sort of casually and carelessly and sew them together and then I learned how to make real quilts. I took a little course too, mm -hmm. so this was in the 70s. But I did quickly not follow designs and it took a while for me to accept the fact that I was inventing something rather than just being lazy, which is how it was looked at for a long time. I usually start with cloth. I have cloth I like. So I say, let me use this cloth. Let me see what goes with this cloth. Let me put it together in this way. Let me cut some of these pieces and then I might think of some shapes I like. So I'll put some shapes out of that cloth. Then it will begin to grow somehow and then it will a title might come to mind and then that will help it grow. I don't like to start with this quilt is going to be called this and I'm going to make a quilt about this, but um, part of um, a description of a stream, say a line from a poem, the stream ran over the rocks and tumbled down, might give me an idea, especially if there's an emotion involved with it. Uh, so I'll use something like that. And then of course it might not end up that way, which is frustrating or not, but I do try and I use that in there. Oh, I like cloth. That's the biggest thing. I like cloth. You know, you just need to touch cloth. And the colors are nice. And I like making these things. I like the way they look. And, you know, I don't like it when I can't figure out what I want to do exactly. And so then I just go and sew stuff. And maybe it'll give me an idea. You just, I like to do it. You can see Gail's work and the work of many other local artists at the opening reception for the 2010 Regional Show at the Kirkland Art Center in Clinton today from 3 to 5.